Today we're going to be going over the procedure for testing electrical gloves in Duvall's glove lab. Um, the first thing we do with the gloves is we bring them in and we will wash all the gloves and dry them to prepare them for visual inspection. Part of the visual inspection is we have to inflate the glove on a glove inflator to no more than two times its original size. What we're looking for here is pinholes, ozone cracking, dry rotting, any abrasions or cuts. Once the outside part of the glove is done, we invert it and do the same process for the inside of the glove to make sure that nobody has cut or got abrasions from wearing a ring or, or anything um, in the glove. Also listening for any small pinholes that might might be in the glove. And that would conclude the visual portion of the inspection. We're now going to move the gloves. We've done the visual inspection. We're now going to uh, electrically test them. These are a double zero class glove rated for 5, 000, or excuse me, 500 volts. They will be tested to 2500 volts, so they really put the gloves uh, through their paces. Uh, we'll load the last pair into the machine. Now activate each of the positions by pushing down the sensing rod. What that is doing is it's telling that there is a glove in that position and to be tested. I will now set the machine for the appropriate voltage and test time. First part of the process is the gloves will be filled internally with water. Once the gloves have been filled to the proper uh, level, they'll be lowered into the uh, test bath and a protective door and window will come up in front of the uh, gloves being tested. Gloves have all been now filled to the proper level. They will lower into the test bath. Should any of the gloves in one of the test positions uh, fail, what you'll get is you'll get an alternating blinking amber and red light indicating that the glove on that test position has failed. 
this test would stop immediately, door open, you would remove the affected glove, rerun the test with the rest of the gloves. Test has now been complete. Now can be safely be removed from the machine. Empty the water. Gloves are now taken to the drying room for final inspection and drying. All the test results are electronically downloaded into a table file, um, which will show the date the glove was tested, what uh, what size it was how long it was tested for, whether it was tested AC or DC current, how much voltage, and whether it passed or failed for both the left and the right glove. This test documentation is sent back with the gloves. After the gloves have been dried and go through a final inspection process, they are then prepared and stamped. We will stamp the date that the glove was tested and who did the testing. Once the gloves have been stamped, they are placed back in a bag, sealed bag. And the test results are sent back along with the gloves for your records.